Hi hey YouTube, 2 e 0 fnm back again with another video. Today I wanted to do a review of the UK Antennas uh, 20, 40 and 80 shortened antenna review. So um, I'm quite new to HF as you know. I had a DX Commander, I was really struggling with noise um, on, that, on that antenna for some reason. I'm not really sure what it was. So I thought I'd go with an NFED uh, half wave antenna. So it came in the post, uh, I literally put it on the fence, I'll show you now, I, I basically put it on the fence uh, just to get it on, uh, just so I could hear, and I'm blown away just on the fence, I've worked Europe and everything, uh, absolutely fantastic. So what I'll do is I'll show you how I've done it on the fence, um, and then I, what I'll do is I'll show you my plan of where I'm going to put it, uh, and then we'll put it in its proper place, uh, we'll have a bit of a listen about and see what we can get. And uh, yeah, really impressed. I mean, the build quality is fantastic. So really, really nice antenna. I think I paid £79.80 for it. So bargain for that sort of money. So uh, absolutely fantastic. But uh, yeah, we'll have a look anyway uh, and see what, we, what you think of it. So uh, yeah, let's have a look. Right, just a quick video. This is how I'd set it up when uh, I got the antenna. So it's just basically on a metal pole there. Not ideal, uh, but it was just something to support it. And then the wire goes basically all the way across the fence like this. And then I've just hooked it round this fence post here. Just got it going uh, over the back of the fence post. Um, just supported here. And then I've come diagonally across. Uh, so I missed that I have steel there. So it's not going to affect the, uh, the antenna too much. And then just got it there. So it basically goes like that. And then across the fence. Here is the uh, the loading coil for 80 and then the 80 element basically just goes up to there. So the plan is, um, what I'm going to do is I've got a spider beam pole coming so I'm going to put that up at the back corner vertical. So I'll put the transformer at the bottom, go up as far as I can and then mount it across onto that uh, T and K, you know, with a, with a decent distance away from the metal work. So it'll go right across, up, and then down. That's the plan anyway. Right, so this is basically on the fence now. So this is what I'm getting on the fence. Now, I've had, I've worked lots of Europe on 20 meters and a few UK stuff on 40 on the fence. So it works really well on the fence. I'm quite surprised, really. Um, so that's my noise floor at the moment. Well sort of there about s5 s4 on 20 probably about s5 um and then on sorry on 20 on 40 i'm getting about s6 i'd say a noise it's a bit quiet at the moment but i have heard stations on 40 quite well on the fence as well um and then on on um 80 meters i have heard stations but the actual antenna needs shortening it's resonant right down here uh, if i do a an SWR curve path now so um, I'm not sure how we set that all that's just so you can see um, it's resonant right down at the, about 500 um, at the moment so I might need to shorten that uh, but I'll get it in its proper place and then on 40 meters um, the SWR is, is flat on, on 40 uh, it just rises slightly at the end uh, but yeah perfectly really good on 40 and on 20 um, I seem to get quite uh, oh, sorry, the tune is probably in line. Into, hang on, let me take the tune out. So, yeah, it's really high on... on it will tune on, on 20 metres, but um, it, it seems a bit high. So I don't know if it's my configuration and all that sort of stuff. So uh, we'll, we'll work it out as we go along. Um, but on 40, I had the tuner in there as well. So let me just... Um, so, yeah, that's the SWR for... For the 40 meters uh, without the tuner uh, and then 80 as i said is is resonant right down at the bottom so i think it's sort of right to uh, you know should be yeah so it's sort of right down the bottom so i'll shorten that up um it does work on uh, 10 meters as well um i have heard some stuff it's not as good as the serial that i've got on for 10 meters but i have heard stations on there so i'll just pick somewhere um and oh hang on I got the tuner in let me just take the tuner out so quite quite good on uh, on 10 meters there um, 
so yeah nice I mean obviously I'll, I'll play around with it properly as I get more used to it uh, but this is basically just on the fence um, it's not a good day to sort of show you today um, there's not a lot going on but I have heard loads of stuff on the fence so uh, once it's on the spider pole um, I'm hoping it should be a lot better Right, so just a quick look at what you get in the uh, in the box for the UK antenna. So it's all pre-done, pre-tuned. Uh, I probably just have to adjust this 80 meter element, just folds back on itself. Uh, but there's the insulator, uh, and there's the 80 meter coil. All really nice uh, heat shrunk on there. Really nice job. Uh, and then that's the transformer. So uh, really, really solid uh, construction. So uh, and I've just uh, excuse my bodgy uh, PL fitting on the bottom. Uh, and it comes with the uh, uh, stainless clamps, I think those, and a stainless back plate. So I'm probably just going to mount that onto my spider pole direct. Uh, but I'll see how I, I, I can get on with the installation. But that's it, really, really nice. You know, you have to excuse any marks because I've obviously had it outside now for a few days. So yeah, that's what you get. Right, so it's in its uh, proper place now. So uh, as you can see, it's at the bottom of the garden, going up 12 metres and then across to this point here so uh, yeah fantastic I mean it's probably not the idealist of, of ways to do it um, but I can't get the length out anywhere else so uh, I've got the choke here it's just an inline choke but I will make uh, a proper one um, so I'll just cover that up with a bit of leaves uh, and there's the main unit so uh, it's just hold on with the uh, a cable tie there and then onto the uh, the spider beam pole so that's uh, that's solid on there um, and then it just goes up and over to the house there so uh, yeah really impressed really simple to do uh, with it being an end fed you only have to uh, attach it obviously at, uh, at, the, at the feed point here and then get the the cable out so it seems to work fantastic it worked really well on the fence uh, on 20 meters anyway but not on any others uh, and the SW is high on 20 but it seems to have come down now so uh, I'll show you a little bit of uh, video of uh, me on air or of the signals I'm getting and the SWR readings and uh, yeah I'm really really pleased with it it's really really nice really really well made uh, obviously I'll tidy this up a little bit better um, but it's it's fantastic uh, really really nice build uh, I'm guessing all that's all waterproofed so uh, yeah nice right happy days right this is basically what I'm getting now from uh, having the antenna in the proper place it's phenomenal you know the signals are so different and I'm getting low SWR now on uh, so if I go on to Excuse the finger. If I just sorry, I've got the tuner in line. Let's take the tuner out. So that's my SWR on 20. So obviously it's probably not in the ideal place, but it's about 1.6 to 1 on 20 meters now. Um, and then it's resonant uh, pretty much where I need it to be. All right, let me take the tuner out. It's basically resonant pretty much where where I asked him to put it so uh, yeah it works really well um, and then 10 meters works great and it's it's resonant there as well absolutely phenomenal absolutely phenomenal Yeah, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, phenomenal antenna. Love it. Thank you very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. This is 2E0, Fox November Mike. And that was the review of the UK antennas. Uh, 20, 40, 80, 10 metres. 
um, a shortened multiband antenna. Uh, absolutely fantastic. I am blown away. Uh, really, really good antenna. So uh, big shout out to Ian from UK Antennas. Uh, great service it came really quick uh, and I'm really really impressed so there'll be a lot more videos coming from me now I'm gonna have a look at some uh, old CB equipment and and loads of different stuff um, so now I'm sort of back in into the HF so it's uh, it's gonna be great so thank you very much for watching if you haven't already please consider subscribing um, and if you haven't already uh, click the like button if you like it or the dislike button if you don't so until the next time i've been two echo zero fox november mike you've been very kind to watch seven three